When patients reach stage 3 chronic kidney disease corresponding to a GFR of 30 to 59 milliliters per minute, they lose the ability to excrete phosphorus in the urine. As a result, they are at an increased risk of developing hyperphosphatemia. Two main kinds of bone problems can occur with stage 3 chronic kidney disease. These are renal osteodystrophy and adynamic bone. In renal osteodystrophy, patients will have an increased phosphorus because the ability to excrete urine is lost. Patients will have decreased calcium that will lead to increased parathyroid hormone levels. Remember that 25-hydroxyvitamin D is converted to 125-dihydroxyvitamin D in the kidney. So patients with chronic kidney disease will most likely have a low vitamin D 125-dihydroxy level. Choice A describes renal osteodystrophy, making it an incorrect answer. Since choices C and E show an increased 125-dihydroxyvitamin D level, they are both incorrect. Adynamic bone occurs because of calcium binders that suppress parathyroid hormone. Since calcium binders contain both calcium and phosphorus, both of these levels will be normal or increased. The increased calcium will suppress parathyroid hormone levels. All these points put together make choice B, increased phosphorus, decreased 125-dihydroxyvitamin D, normal or increased calcium, and a decreased parathyroid hormone the correct answer.